Hello again and welcome back to Historic Aerials. This video is going to cover the topo map uh, PDF builder and we're going to walk through real quick how to download and uh, develop a PDF report with topo maps in, uh, on our website as a subscriber. Um, this is a feature that, that you will have and be able to utilize. Uh, if, if you have already found an area or location you can go in and uh, just find your previously downloaded or saved to gallery Tobo um, and we'll go in and, and generate a report really quick and then uh, I'll show you an example of what we can do in, in some certain areas if uh, if you don't have full coverage like this as well but in this instance we have full coverage as you can see we have a 1975 layer uh, and and you can go through and select each layer and take a look at it if you'd like but as before with the um, aerials if you choose to look at each of these there are no watermarks on this at this point so as you view them you are using your credits please be aware of that uh, as we go through and click on each of these I am using a credit in each location uh, or on each year and so if you want to go in and add some information much like with the aerials topo or PDF builder um, you can add text down here below in this text box and type something in and then save that and uh, for each layer that you may want to add information you're going to need to click on that layer and save it because it does not maintain that information from layer to layer only whichever layer you're currently clicked on at the time and in addition to this uh, once you've got everything situated and you'd like to download this report or print this report click on the download PDF link come over here and on the left the layer that you were on initially is the one that will be checked you can add additional layers by checking them and adding them to your report. Once you've done so, click the download button. It will give you the option of saving it or you can open it. We're just going to go ahead and open this uh, so that you can see what we get. The PDF report is this one in particular is six uh, pages long because we chose six images and as you can see the layer that we decided to type something in actually has that text in the box and uh, it gives you a nice layout telling you which topo map that came from initially uh, with some scaling and also the compass on here showing you uh, north up. If you build a PDF and decide to come back at a later time and you need to add an additional year uh, it's quite simple. Um, you just log back into your account and go to your gallery and just click on that PDF report generator link again and it'll take you back in showing you the layers that you've already viewed in a highlighted color and if you'd like to add an additional year say 1915 we can go ahead and when we click on the download PDF link check that box this time when you click the download button and view it uh, there will be an additional page the page 7 is now added so that 1915 layer will have been added in to your PDF report so you can add to it later if you decide you need something that you may have left out the first time through um, so this is a great little tool we have for building a PDF report with uh, the topo maps and it's just like the aerials um, however there's a feature with the topo maps that I'd like to show you really quick uh, that is a little bit different if you're in a location and you're trying to view the maps and say you happen to be in a place where the map does not have full coverage so here's a, a, an example of that we're going to go ahead and show you how to solve this problem and get a full screen view um, by generating a composite topo uh, with multiple years together and you can just save this location to your gallery once we've saved that to our gallery we'll be able to see it in here and much like before with the other topo PDF generator uh, same sort of scenario however with this one when we open it up and take a look we'll get a little pop-up that says uh, this has a um, missing section and I've already turned that pop-up off and there's a, a, a checkbox that you can do so as well after you learn what it's telling you and understand what it means 
Uh, you may want to turn it off if you watch the video. You may already understand uh, by the time you even get to it. But um, this page has a missing section. So what we can do is click in that black missing section. And as you can see, this is all 1983, uh, the topo area. But this is a 1982 layer in the same scale. There are also alternate scales and alternate years. Um, but we'd like to fill this in. Typically, we would probably want to use the closest year available to match. So if you click on that 1982, it fills in the rest of that map with the 1982 layer. So you now have a full complete topo with a composite 1983-1982 topo. Um, it still says whatever year you were clicked on as the name, but down here below it'll actually note which layer is which piece. As you can see, this, this overall map was made up with three pieces from 1983 and one piece from 1982. Once you've done that, uh, you'll want to save that map so that it stays that way. And also, if you add any text or any additional information down here below, you'll also want to click Save after doing so. And we'll do another example. Um, if you look here, there's a 1972 layer, and uh, it does not have full coverage. So again, we'll click in here and find something that's similar. In this example, there's a 1973 layer, very similar. Uh, so that fills in our missing space again, and we will Go ahead and save that as a 1972 topo with the examples and information down below of what pieces these are from. After we've generated our, our topo uh, with, with, with filling in the blank space, we can go over here and choose to download those. Um, the original layer that you were clicked on, uh, that you saved in your gallery when you did this, is the year that will be populated. Um, if you have made any additional years, you're using credits while you're doing this, so I would recommend whatever years you need to add. Um, add those to your PDF report by clicking on the checkboxes over here accordingly. Once you've selected everything that you want, uh, click the download option and you can go ahead and save it or open it. If you open it, you'll see that this is the two layers that I selected um, in a two-page report. And if I had added any additional text down here, it would be displayed. And if you decide at a later time you would like to add any additional layers, uh, maybe you'd like the 1938 and the 1915, as you can see, these are actually full coverage pieces. Um, you can just add those in to your download option and click download and go ahead and view them now you can see this is actually a four page PDF uh, so if you forgot something it's not a problem you can always go back and add it later if you used up all your credits and want to come back next month and add them to it that's fine too uh, once you're done with the PDF generation tool and if you've downloaded it or or uh, printed it off and you're you're done in here you can just X out of here and will take you back to your gallery where you can see any additional images that you may have been purchasing or or downloading. That is uh, what we believe to be a great feature. The Topo PDF Builder has some really nice tools in the instances where you cannot get full coverage and we highly recommend you check it out. Maybe this will fix some of your problems and fill some of your needs as a customer. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll come back later and check us out for some more videos on some of the features we're going to offer in the future. Thank you.